Next going on is your scope rail, your weaver rail. Now, you just don't go on just clamp the screws. You have to kind of, this one here, kind of lightly seat it while you get these two back screws aligned. All right, when I do this, there's a couple of key notes here because if this four screws loose and this screw loose they actually move the rail there's a little place side to side so if you're not paying attention you could you could be tightening it off off to the, the rear side off to the left or right so I make sure there's a guide here there's an edge here and this edge and make sure they're perfectly perfectly aligned together then tighten the screws Because it doesn't take much to get your scope off if these two are not aligned. Don't over tighten this because if you do, they're very hard to remove. Alright, then your cheek rest. Well, let's, let's do a trigger guard first, cause uh, alright, got both our screws. Alright, I wanna start a couple of threads in each one of these before I do a crisscross pattern. I right, make sure it's flush, alright. If not, push it flush, then torque them. All right, at this point, I like to check the trigger that it cocks. And pull. If you don't test it, you put it all together and the trigger doesn't work, then you may have to disassemble it and be sure to check the prior. Now we'll put on the cheek rest. And be careful when you torque this. It's, you don't apply that much torque as the other screws here. Because we're working with plastic here. So when I, I kind of reduce my torque value on, on your tool. All right, now let's, uh, let's put the bottle on. Oh, first, so let me put the barrel on. As you know, before you start shoving it in, make sure your thumb adjuster or your set screw is backed out. You know, make clear for the, the barrel. When you do this, make sure your orientation. Yeah. And this older style, it's not a smooth twist X or sleeve system. The divot for the set screw is just right there. Usually I faint at 12 o'clock face at 12 o'clock and when I push it in I aim for this thumb adjuster with the divot on the barrel and verify it is flush actually to me it's sticking out too far in because there's a flat spar of the brass has to be flush with the action. Kind of push it gently. Then you dip it will start going through the screw, a thumb screw, then hand tight. Alright. 
and cycle it. Make sure the probe goes in, it's not binding at all. I, if I had a mag, I would test your magazine in there. Cock it, load, make sure the magazine goes in and out freely. All right, now screw on your bottle. All right, we got pressure, supply pressure, and now regular pressure, 110. There you go. And it's all assembled. And remember, you're all watching all those videos, it took a while to disassemble it, do all the inspection, and we finally got it assembled. The fun part is testing it and tuning it to your liking. What speed, what pellet, and that'll be another video in tuning and setting up your gun, your impact. All right, we'll catch you in this video.